Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography. In this video, I am going to show you a, a little tool that you can use in Capture One for getting rid of um, chromatic aberration. Now, chromatic aberration is removed as part of the lens correction process. However, sometimes you can still have some left over. Um, this can be due to the lens you're using differing slightly from the manufacturer profile, or sometimes just the, the base correction doesn't actually get rid of it all. Um, however, there's a handy little trick you can use that will get rid of a lot of fringing most of the time. Um, it won't necessarily get rid of all of it, but it's pretty good and gets rid of a lot of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a bit more here because on the video you're probably not going to be able to see this too easily because it will be zoomed out depending on how you're watching it. So for the purposes of this, I've just zoomed in to, to make this easier to see. So I'm over here in the lens correction panel and you can see here the profile says manufacturer profile. Now I shot this with a Fuji X-Pro2 and it's taking it from the lens information. Um, you need to be using the uh, version 10 or higher for this to be worked properly. Um, I can't remember the exact version number where this came in. Um, so in order to get rid of this uh, fully, you can see there's still some fringing here. Um, I'm going to turn up this purple fringing slider. Now if you don't see this on your interface, um, it may be because it was removed. So what you need to do is go right click, go add tool, and you will find it purple fringing. Um, but I already have mine. If you have using the default interface, it should be there. So as you can see, I brought this up to about 59% and that's got rid of it for the most part. Um, so if I bring this all the way, it's actually going a bit too far now and you're starting to get um, a bit of green in here. So I'm just gonna slide this back to around the 50% mark. Okay. And we'll just check the rest of the image. Now, this is not a good image, and the only reason I'm using this is because I had some quite strong visible aberration, and that's why I'm showing you this, using this image. So as you can see, that's pretty much got rid of most of it. If I turn this back off again, you can see there's some strong aberration there as well, but if I set this back up to 50%, and it's gone. Okay, so that's just a little quick trick for you. Um, just one more thing, if you've zoomed out, um, when you're looking at this normally uh, so that your image fills the screen. In other words, you're looking at it like you normally would. Um, there's one of the issues with Capture One is one of the things that kind of annoys me about it is that it doesn't show you, it doesn't actually render the purple fringing correction and it doesn't render chromatic aberration correction properly as well. Um, there's a few things it doesn't do properly. There's been discussions about this in their forums and they claim that it's not possible to do it, but that's nonsense. Um, <laughs> There is a way around it though, there's a way to show it, and that is if you use the proofing um, preview, or recipe preview, proofing. Um, I actually have a blog about this, and I will link to it in the description below. You need to set up a output profile specifically to do this so that it's the right resolution, which I have one set up here, so don't mind the name of it, but I have the settings set the way that needs to be done. Um, and when you turn this on, it will render it properly and you can see the chromatic aberration is now gone um, off the full res preview or the full size preview. So I know that's a bit confusing, but I have a blog post about it and I will link to it below. Okay, so that's just a quick capture one tip and I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.